na ponso muloi uh, from Zeroe. I was born 34 years ago in Gaborone. I'm a brother. I'm a son. I'm a father. To a eight year old daughter. Uh, I am. I live in Gaborone. I played for Muchuli Center Chiefs. I played for Northern Football Club, I played for uh, all the junior national teams Sabotwana. I played for the main team Yabotwana, which is the Zabas. I started playing football when I was growing up go Extension 27, go to in and go White City. Mm-hmm. So I started playing football, an opportunity, you know, when I was young, when you were just playing Mostra thing, my, my colleagues here, like, just for fun, some girl I'm you know, you know uh, just that, and uh, I started play, play the uh, football culture and structure, mm-hmm. when I was playing for a team, you know, with the protest young strikers under 12. Mm-hmm. Then I went on to play for not one junior team mm-hmm. under 17. Mm-hmm. And uh, I went on to play for not one senior team in St. Chiefs and that was that. Football is uh, to, 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 to others, it's, it's a, football is life, football is, is, is a, the main game, but to me it's the only game. That's what it means. It's the only game, it's the only game. So really football is everything to me. I think a lot of factors, you know, go you need to start for starters you need to be you need to, to love to play the game. You need to want to play the game. Uh, more than anything, more than you being, you know, me, you wanting to go and play for this person or for that person, but you need to love the game, you need to want to go and play football with or without any other thing that comes after, incentives or whatever, but you need to love the game, you need to want to go and play football. That's what makes great players. Alex Ferguson will tell you over it. when you are still managing many Manchester United, he will tell you over it. Uh, Wayne Rooney didn't care about anything else. Where well, for a, you know, Ferguson, for a man United pays him how much, you know, it wasn't important to him. Mm-hmm. What was important to him was Ferguson will tell you Wayne Rooney, every knock that he had on his office, Ferguson, first thing in the morning was Wayne Rooney. I was worried. I the I'm playing tomorrow. I'm in the starting lineup. Mm-hmm. That is what mattered to him. Not for Ronald Mandia, the Kangang, not for a, you know, Smama Marinkai, you know, that was what's most really important. Every time I, you know, I lifted a cup, mm-hmm. you know, every time we won uh, something as a team. Every time I won something as an individual, mm. it was always uh, you know, special moments. Mm. You know, every time I, 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 I saw the people that I played for, meaning the supporter of Zaka, the teenagers, I make a happy because we have just won. It's priceless. That's what, that, that's, that is all what I, what I wanted to do. That, that's really what, why I kept on playing and playing and playing and trying to be better trying to win, you know, games and trophies just for, just for, them, for the beautiful places that I used to and our supporters. I grew up, I support Man United, I grew up in uh, Ilewala Man United, I used to like uh, David Beckham, Paul Scholes, but in this modern era, mm. uh, I 
like uh, even though it's not from my team, I like I like two guys, mm -hmm. Eden Hazard and uh, Iniesta. I think in a, in a way because they're small and statue and, and, and fracture like me. I think they exceptional footballers, so really I try to model my game around those, those guys, you know. And uh, I think that was, uh, for the better part of, of my career, you know, I, 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 I was inspired by, by those two guys. By the look of it, when you are not, when you are not me, you think that. But I'm the only person that knows Hore. My legs are not as good as they used to be. They can't kill me anymore. I feel it. I, I uh, even my body told me, "Oh no, you can't go on, my man. Uh, you have tried. You need to stop." Uh, but I always knew this time was gonna come. So I, sh I could have done that last season, but uh, uh, you know, these guys persuaded me to go on. Another season you know, and see how it falls. So I went on, and then this season I was like, okay, now I think I'm, gonna, I'm done. I've run my race, and so let's call it quits. You know, it's, it's always good to, to stop when you when you when, when you have done so well. Mm. Uh, you know, and uh, you think you really have contributed a lot, and um, and and it's all it's all good. It's always good to to leave something behind for, for, for the other people who are coming behind to say, okay, this guy was here and this is what he has done. You know, you live, you live on, on, on good terms, you live in, when, when everybody else uh, was, was, was happy about you. But it has always been about, uh, it, it has never been about me, or it has always been about the team that I play for, mm -hmm. my team, you know. Mm -hmm. I always try to, to do the best that I can do for them. You know, it is never easy to to play consistently. It is never an easy thing. You you can only, and not everybody else can do that. To be consistent over the years, over and over and on over the years, it's very difficult. But I, I like you saying, you know, I've done that. I think it comes to you know being able to. You know, to, to do well, to train well, to look after oneself off the pitch. This is where what a lot of you know uh, boys do. These are the mistakes that they do. They only think football is on the pitch. Football is off the pitch. As an athlete, you need to take care of yourself off the pitch. It will always take you far. You take your care of yourself off the pitch. The results will show on the pitch. Whether you like it or not, you can't have a bad, 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 you know, uh, 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 off-the-pitch lifestyle and uh, go on onto the pitch and really, uh, you know, uh, pull it off. Yeah, it's, it's not always easy. You know, they need to go on and do what they believe in. They need to, you know, to, to, to be themselves and really try and set their own you know, legacies. You know, they need to you know, put the passion and the focus into their game. There's nothing that beats passion. And uh, you know, I've always been a different guy. I've always believed in, because we always believe in, I just think the way hard work is, 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 is over, it's misinterpreted or it's overused. I always believed in smart work rather than hard work. Hard work. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you, uh, I was coached by one guy. You tell you tell you what it was. I can make you run the whole day, but when you are not smart, you can't do. We can't win games. You know that's what I've always the motto that I've always 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 used. You gotta be smart about the work that you do. Be smart on and off the pitch. You go far. You can't. You can't separate. Uh, you can't separate football and what can I say? You can't separate football and good good things. 
if you understand. Because those are two things that you can never separate. Or you can't separate the limelight from football. No, you can't separate. But you just need to know, you just need to strike the balance. You just need to know the good and the bad. When you're in the limelight, everything else will come to you. But you just need to, to know which is right and which is not right. No, I don't believe in that. I'm, I'm from a family that has never believed in that. So I, never, I don't believe in that. I've never seen that though. I've never seen that though. I've never seen that though. So I've never seen that in, a, in the teams that I played for. Yeah, if they use those things, they use them. They are not. I've never seen those things, and I don't believe in that. Otherwise, we could be have a World Cup in Gabon now. I think I think uh, I just I think I, I really have had a, had a had a, a good time. I try to enjoy myself every time, you know, when I play ball. I try to more than anything I I, I try to enjoy myself and entertain people who are watching. So I I've always taken that as an, an entertainment. As much as it was it's a, it's, a, it's it's business and it's it's what other people live out out of. But at the end of the day, it's, it's a game that people need to enjoy and people need to be entertained. And that is what I've always entertained. That is what I've always tried to give, give out to people who, who happen to, to be watching. And I've, I've taken pride in you know, uh, the, you know, the appreciation Yaba told uh, they really enjoyed me watching me play over the years. Of course, you'll always have a uh, 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 not so good moments. That is, is given a chance you probably could have could have changed. You know, I, I've, I've always been this guy who's uh, who's been on the pitch. He's always been very very aggressive. You know, uh, even, you know, most running, most on the But when they use my they just use what they are. You know, and I might tell you know, mm -hmm. It, it has always been about passion. It's always been about passion. When I get onto the pitch, I get, you know, zoned into the moment, and I want to win. And that is why probably I have achieved what I've achieved just because of that. And maybe I tend to step on, on people's toes, on the and uh, you know, they get in the, on the bad side of of, uh, of the officials. And, that, but it has, always, it has never been my intention. But on the other hand, had you had you taken the, 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 the passion and maybe the aggression out of me, maybe today we could be tra saying a different story. So maybe it's <laughs> But I love coaching to be honest. I love coaching. I'll probably do it on, at, a, at a later stage. Yes, because also I've been told before, you know, I'm just an intelligent guy. And you can be a very, very good coach. Yes. Like I said before, you know. I've it's been an honor for me to play this game and uh, and, uh, and consistently for, for for forever, like really. And uh, it's been an honor for me to to have you know invaded people's uh, uh, sitting rooms at their homes and you know watching me on their TVs and uh, uh, paying their last money to go to the stadium to go and watch me play and. I really hope and wish that I have I have been the entertainer that uh, they have probably expected, and I've really done done very well and really entertained them. And I want to thank them a lot. Just uh, all this all football, you know, of the football fraternity. Uh, not only the supporters of my teams, but everybody else, even from the opposition teams. Uh, just thank you for. For, for, for being 
there and watching football and allowed me and everybody else to display what 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 they have you know to to, to my supporters to the sunship supporters you guys have been brilliant magnificent you know in good or uh, not so good moments you guys have always been there for me and for my and for the team and the most important you know you guys have been there for for, for this team we have always rallied behind this team and you guys have always, I will always love you and i will always you know have you at heart